shall stop. The people v. Cosmic King on 22 October 2024, 8.30 p.m. Mr. Cosmic King. Yes, sir. Will you step up to the podium, please? No. Okay. Mr. King. Do you know what is the podium? So, sorry, King, you, sorry, Your Honor. The podium is behind you, you donkey. Sorry, sir. Wow. And before we start this trial, I would like to say to everybody in the peanut gallery, I thought the podium was the at the fucking front. The charge oh. for outburst or for idiots who are just saying hello, hello, hello. I don't care how tiny or how stupid it is. You will be given 600 months and $50,000 fine. Everybody in here, I hope you all understand. Read the room. There's a lot of people who come here prepared today. Let's not sully that and make fun of it. Thank you. Now, back to session. Mr. Cosney King, you have been accused of the following charges. Now, you have to say guilty or not guilty to these charges. My advice is listen to your lawyer before you answer on each charge. Do you understand? Listen I, to your lawyer advice. I understand. Lamo, thank you. Lawyer, get closer to your defendant. Uh, to your Yes, thank you. To your client. So you can tell him. Okay. Felony cultivation of marijuana part. How do you plead? Not guilty. Possession of marijuana with intent to distribute. Not guilty. Felony possession of oxy. With the intent to distribute. Guilty. Okay. Manufacturer of illegal firearms. Not guilty. Possession of illegal firearm modification times two. Not That's for the blueprints. Not guilty. Criminal possession of weapon class B times three. So you've got three charges of those. Guilty. To all of them? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Criminal possession of explosives. Not guilty. Money laundering. Not guilty. Felony obstruction of justice. Guilty. Jailbreak. Guilty. Resisting arrest. Guilty. Assault of a public servant or a peace officer. Guilty. Kidnapping of a public servant or peace officer. Guilty. Possession of a government issued weapon. Guilty. Okay. Now that will be all the charges. So, right now, this is mainly surrounding the escape from custody. The last charges you all pled guilty to. So you're not contesting those? No. Money laundering, were you contesting this or not? Yes, you're on it. You're contesting, so not guilty. Not okay. guilty. Okay. Hold on. I can't change my voice. We had to, Martin. Criminal position of explosive, not guilty. He 
agree to hands-free immunity. Correct. You're not guilty. Not guilty. Okay. The criminal position of weapon class V times three. You do, you you said you're guilty on that one, so you're not contesting it. Correct. The modifications times two. Not guilty. There's a lot of charges here. The manufacturer also not guilty. Not guilty. So quiet. And the first three charges, the felony cultivation of marijuana farm, position of marijuana with intent to distribute, also felony position of oxy with intent to distribute. All of them not guilty, correct? No, wrong. I pled guilty to the possession of oxy with intent. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. You may go back to your seat. Thank you, Your Honor. No problem. What other streamers are sat like that? Yes, your Prosecution. Honor. Moan so, is doing it. The defendant here, Mr. Cosby King, is pleading not guilty to the following charges. Money laundering, criminal position of explosive, position of um, modifications, time two, manufacture of firearms, position of marijuana farm, also felony cultivation of marijuana. All these charges he is contesting and pleading not guilty to. So let's keep the scope within this part. Do you understand? Yeah, uh, just a note on that, Your Honor. Um, the cultivation of the marijuana farm, that charge, uh, I would like to request before we begin that that charge is dropped because it does not meet the scope of the legislation of the state. Understood. Defense will be happy to hear that. Is one charge gone? More than happy, Your Honor. One down. So the felony cultivation of marijuana to be dropped. Yes, sir. What about position of marijuana farm? The maru sorry, the marijuana farm, sir, that is the charge being dropped. The possession of marijuana with the intent to distribute is being maintained. One down. Understood. Fifty to go. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the courtroom. I'm Victor Enza Colt. I'm a United States Marshal with the Marshal Service. I'll be representing the LSPD today, and also by de facto representing the state. Uh, today, we're presenting a case to you that underscores the seriousness of drug trafficking, money laundering, and by proxy, the firearms possession. The defendant stands accused of not just possessing marijuana, but doing so with the intent to distribute it, which is a choice that endangers our community and perpetuates the cycle of crime and addiction. The evidence presented by the prosecution will show the defendant was actively involved in a distribution chain with significant quantities of marijuana found in his possession, along with substantial amounts of cash, indicative of money laundering activities to conceal the profits of this operation. Furthermore, will demonstrate that the, de the, the defendant uh, posed a grave risk to law enforcement and the general public at large. As we present the facts of this case, I ask you to consider the implications of the defendant's actions, not just for themselves, but for our community as a whole. The Scruffy law is clear. Bastard. These actions are not only illegal, but they jeopardize safety and well-being of our neighborhoods. We are trying, well, we are, sorry, confident that by the end of this trial, the evidence will lead you to a verdict of guilty on these charges. Thank you very much. Thank you, prosecution. Defense, you may take the podium whenever you are ready. Thank you, Your Honour. Your Honour, ladies and gentlemen of the court, my name's Kenneth Powers, and today I stand here to defend Cosney King, a man who has been unjustly targeted by law enforcement. From the very beginning, this case has been built on a foundation of assumptions and bias rather than credible evidence. Mr. King is a member of our community who deserves the same rights and protections as anybody else. We will demonstrate that the police acted on preconceived notions leading to an investigation that is riddled with inconsistencies and questionable practices. You will hear from witnesses who will testify to Mr. King's character, his contributions to the community, and his desire to live 
a life free from the shadow of wrongful accusations. We will show that evidence against him is circumstantial and that the narrative painted by the prosecution is not only misleading, but is flawed. Your Honor, as you listen to the evidence presented, I urge you to keep an open mind and remember that in our justice system, the burden of proof lies with the prosecution. If there is reasonable doubt in your mind about Mr. King's guilt, you have a duty to find him not guilty. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ken. Mr. Renzo, whenever you are ready, you may call in your first witness. Yes, uh, for my first witness, Your Honor, I'd like to call up to the stand uh, Mr. Thomas Jackson, a lieutenant of the LSPD. I can't wait Lieutenant for Reggie. Thomas Jackson, is he present? I can't wait for Reggie. Yes, Your Honor. Is that, is that him with the curly that is hair? Him, yes, Your Honor. Uh, can you hear me from where I'm stood correctly, Your Honor? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, Mr. Jackson, Mr. You Mr. Hear Jackson, go yeah. ahead and step to the podium so everybody can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Excellent. Everybody in the court can hear Mr. Jackson? Correct. Hello. I can't wait for okay, Reggie. Okay, everybody, to I, talk, will give you, I will give you five seconds to speak. Everybody can or no? Yeah, we can hear him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
as soon as you come straight into the compound, you've got two car parks, you've got one underneath a balcony, and then you've got the actual housing apartment complex to your right with uh, a swimming pool that doesn't have water in it. As soon as you turn right into the actual compound area, it's the first door on the right-hand side. Okay. Mr. Jackson, did you enter the property? Correct, yes. Could you describe the layout of the property for me, please? As soon as you enter the property, you've got a three to four step staircase, uh, and then you have a bathroom look like a kitchen, and then you obviously have the living quarter slash living room uh, with multiple crates around for storage. Okay. Upon entering the building, was there anything that immediately stood out to you? Just the only thing that really stood out to me was the odd placing of crates. Odd placing of crates. Uh, could Correct. you elaborate on that for me, please? So, as soon as you entered the house, I uh, went to obviously clear the house. On the left-hand side, the living room was filled with crates slash storage. Mr. Jackson, upon uh, approaching these crates, did you look at the contents of them? No, I did not. Okay. So you would not be able to confirm the contents of the crate? I would not, no. Understood. Thank you very much. Um... My apologies, just going over my notes very quickly here, Your Honor. That's okay. Uh, Mr. Jackson, the evidence that was collected from the property, would you be able to give me a rough estimate uh, of a time frame that it took to clear that property? For the firm block, it took us 45 minutes to clear everything out of the house into our vehicles. <laughs> okay. And once the evidence was documented inside the vehicle, where was it taken to? Once the evidence was in the vehicles and all the vehicles were then documented on site, uh, they were then taken straight back to MRPD where they were placed into evidence. Okay. And the officers in question um, that documented the, the evidence, what department of the LSPD was responsible for documentation of such? That would have been the detective's department known as THANG. Are there any detectives that stood out to you in particular of carrying evidence? That would have been the uh, sergeant at the time, at Tony Drag, and now Deputy Chief Harrisman. Okay. I believe that's all I have for you right now, Mr. Jackson. Thank you very much. Thank you. Am I good to step down, Your Honor? Yes, you're very good. Oh, sorry, not yet. Apologies. No, you may not ask him. You may not tell him for me. My apologies, Prosecution. Your Honor. No, your place! <laughs> okay. Mr. Jackson, hold on. Mr. Ken, would you like to re-cross-examine the witness? Uh, yes, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Ken, go ahead and re-examine the witness. He's all yours. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Jackson. Hello. In quotes, your... You stated... You might fumble here. ...the firm block. Correct. What is your reason for labeling it as such? The reason why we label it as the firm block is because it's sprayed the firm all around the streets next to that compound. We also have individually responded over the past to multiple calls in that compound with always firm members, as we like to call them due to them wearing the firm colors that clearly state the name of the firm on it within that compound. Okay, thank you. So you, you attest to arriving on scene at this location. Correct. And you have obviously just admitted to seeing uh, my client, Mr. Cosney King, on scene. Correct. When you saw Mr. King, was he complicit? Did you witness him doing anything illegal at the time of your arrival? At the time, the time of my, my arrival or the time of we detained him? At the time of your arrival. At the time of our arrival, he was sat in a vehicle just pulling up because we pulled up, he pulled up after us. So can you give me a timeline for you arriving and the actions taken against my client by law enforcement? Objection compound. Rebuttal. I'll, re I'll rephrase. Okay, go ahead and rephrase. From the time you arrived, 
can you walk me through the steps that happened to my client? Yeah, so at the time we arrived, we detained everyone on scene that we could individually see that didn't scatter and run out of the area. We then cleared the house that we were looking for. Uh, and then we was alerted over the radio that a vehicle had just turned up with two people in it. Uh, as soon as that vehicle were turned off on the scene, uh, both individuals were held at gunpoint and demanded to get out of the vehicle and was then detained. To which then we later found out one of them was Mr. Cosney King. Where then he was placed into cuffs, he was searched for any weapons and was removed of any communication devices. And was placed into the back of the uh, of a scout at the time and was constantly asked if he wanted through the water there. And he was kept, kept there for his own safety. Okay. You admitted to uh, handling of evidence. No, I did not. Did you not? I thought you. you no, you, I you stated to empty no, the house. I, no, I stated to breaching the house and clearing the house, as in clearing it so no one's inside, not touching evidence. Right. Okay. You say clearing. I thought you were saying you was. You... Can you give me the names of the officers? who handled evidence removal objection asked and answered uh that will be sustained um that was asked and answered uh but he did not state the name so i will allow him if he knows the names of the people then he shall answer the question if he does not know the names of the detectives just say the name of the unit that's all which was already answered, by the way, Mr. Ken. Yes, that's that's right, Joel. I got we got the unique name. I was I was asking basically if uh, Mr. Jackson knew the name of the, the then, detectives that had then handled. overruled objection overruled. Go ahead and answer the question. Do you know the um, names of the detectives who? One of them that I can remember would have been uh, Detective Sergeant Tony Wright, Tony Drag. Sorry, not right. He's gonna break. He's gonna. If he puts pressure on him, he's gonna struggle. Uh, okay, Roddy, no more uh, no more questions from the defense, Mr. Jackson. Thank you. Come on, Ken. Uh, Mr. Enzo, would you like recross once again? Uh, no, Your Honor, I'm good. Thank you very much. No problem. Defense, do you have the current witness on your uh, witness list or no? Uh, say again, Your Honor. Do you have Mr. Jackson on your witness list? Uh, negative, Your Honor. So you're not going to be recalling him. Excellent. No. Mr. Jackson, thank you so much for your time. You may leave. If you want to leave the room, you are also free to do so. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. No problem. Thank he, should, you. he should have pressured Jackson a little bit more. Mr. Enzo, your next witness. Mr. Uh, sorry, Your Honor, I would like to call up uh, Mr. Jakub Marczewska to the stand, please. Thank you. He should have pressured him. Mr. Jakub, to the podium. He doesn't even know what officer uh, Your Honor, uh, Mr. There Cold. Prosecution, Mr. Enzo, you may proceed as you like. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Machewska, same question to yourself. The man behind you to your left, do you recognize him? Uh, at the moment in time, the hair is different. However, the facial features are not. Uh, I do. What is the, the gentleman's name? Uh, Mr. Kozny King. Right. Mr. Machewska. Were you present for the raids the other day on the 13th of October? No. Okay. Mr. Machewska, do you have any previous run-ins with Mr. Kosny King? Yes. Objection relevance? Uh, tying him to the block uh, as, as association. Yes, but not the block. You did not mention anything on the block on that okay, question. That's, that's fine. I can rephrase my question. My apologies. Okay. Obje objection. Um, overruled. Can, Go ahead. To rephrase the question for you, Yaku, uh, have you seen Mr. Kosny King on the block uh, as described as the firm block up by Rocks and Socks, Cougar Avenue? Yes. When you saw Mr. King on the block, was he wearing any notable colors? 
Yes, he was uh, wearing the firm clothing. It was a black in color hoodie. Mr. Machetska, when was the last time you saw Mr. King on that block? It would have been, um, I would say, a few days before the raid of the 13th. Would you be able to give me a specific date? I would, uh, if, if available, uh, to look through my phone, I can give the specific date. Your Honor, may he check his phone for specifics? I shall allow it. <laughs> Thank you. My goodness. Apologies. Oh, uh, it's yeah. currently oh having my God. issues. Oh, my God! Whoever did that, go ahead and step forward. Go ahead and step forward. Your Honor, it's, it's currently safe? scuffing. Am I, am come, I come, safe? Come, come, Step forward. Stump, step forward. What do I mean? Oh. Fix it. Let's go. I see. Does it shoot randomly? Yes. Shoot randomly. Okay, okay Mom, stop Jackson looking in my direction. If it does, stop looking in my Everyone direction. I should have put their hands up. Shoots randomly for the police. I, yeah, it's the I second see. time that's happened around me. Yeah, fucks, isn't it? Why has he got changed since? Oh, there we go. Incompetence. Is he safe to be an officer? Safe enough to get, I don't even feel get up safe on the stand. The Colin, please be quiet. He was just on the stand, I believe. Jeez. Are you checking your phone, Mr. Yaku? Yes, are you from, yes uh, Your Honor. I, I have. It was uh, uh, the 10th of October. Okay. Thank you, Jakob. Thank you, Your Honor. When you observed Mr. King on the, the block on Cougar Avenue, known as the Firm Block, uh, on the 10th, what was he pictured doing? Uh, at the time, he was speaking to Sergeant Tony Drag. Okay. Did you speak to Tony Drag following this situation? Yes. Did Mr. Drag explain his purpose for being there? Yes. What did he say that his purpose was? Um, to get viable information from Mr. Kosny King. Okay. Ob objection here, say. Okay. Your rebuttal? Drag isn't here to. Here, Drag isn't here to agree to that. Uh, um, are you sure? Are you sure you don't have any rebuttal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, objection. W, w, w Ken. Come on, guys. Take another um, question. W Ken. Yeah, let me have a think. Yeah. W Ken. I'm just checking my notes. My Drag can't confirm it. He can't throw him under the bus because it will fuck the whole case. Uh, Mr. Machevsko, with, with Mr. Drag, where did you where did you head after you had pictured that Mr. Sorry, not pictured. Let me correct myself. After you had observed Mr. King on the uh, the, the block at Cougar Avenue. Uh, back to Mission Row Police Department. What was the purpose for your return to Mission Row? To speak about uh, and write about the information Mr. Drag has just been given. Uh, Mr. Machevska, is that information documented within the police MDT? Uh, at, uh, it was a FANG um, report, so it should be yes. Okay. Just checking again. Um, do you happen to have an exact on that report? Or is it just... No, just do you have an exact? Do you have an exact on that report? No. Okay. No problem. Not a problem at all. Uh, I think that is everything I have for Mr. Machevska, Your Honor. That wasn't much, was it? I thought they had a secret weapon with them too. Thank you very much, Mr. Renzo. Come Mr. on, Ken, Reggie. Would you like to recross? Yes, Your Honor. Come on, Ken. W. Take Ken. it away. Mr. Machevska. Yes, you've, admitted, you've admitted to not being part of force that's executed the raid, and you've only attested to my client's whereabouts a couple of days prior to the raid itself. Come on, Ken. So, my question to you, when you did witness him, did you witness him doing anything illegal? 
No. Oh, but you can. It's, all you did was witness him speaking to a fellow officer and quote his name was Mr. Tony Drag. Yes. And since that date, have you noticed my client doing anything illegal since that date? Wrong question. No. He has. No he question, fucked it. Are. He fucked it. What about when I broke Would out of like custody? He fucked it. Is there, uh, Enzo? He fucked it. Um. Your Honor, I'd like to ask the question again about uh, Mr. Machevska, your your conversation with Tony Drag. Uh, after going through my notes, Mr. Tony Mr. Drag... Renzo, Mr. Renzo, yes, may sir. I remind you that you can only ask questions that within the scope of what the defense just asked. Within... Oh, sorry, my apologies. Then, if, then no, I do not wish to recross, Your Honor. Okay, thank you very much. Mr. Jakob, thank you for your time. Thank you for your effort. You may thank stay you, if you want Your to Honor. stay. No problem. And you are you are free to leave if you would like to. Come on, Reggie. Prosecutor, sit your next witness. Come on, Reggie. Uh, my next witness, Your Honor, is going to be Mr. Reggie Simmons. This is going to be... Mr. Reggie Simmons, please come up to the podium. This is going to be a belter. Mm. Just squeezed it. So we'll run the back. This is going to be a belter. Of course. Hey, up, Babs. Hello there, Your Honor. Hello. Okay, Mr. Enzo. You this may is going to kill you guys. Thank you, Your this Honor. This is going to kill you. Hello, Mr. Reggie Simmons. Hello. Just give me a moment here to pull up my notes once yeah, more. Yeah, you take your time, Bill. You take your time. Exclamation mark, James, uh, everyone. Simmons. This is going to be good. Um, Do you know the man behind you and to your left? Yes. <laughs> Who is that man? That's me boy, Kozo, that is. What is your relationship with, uh, as you call him, Kozo? Uh, he's my best buddy, he is. He's your best mate? Oh. Okay. Uh, Mr. Reggie Simmons, um, do you own property in Sandy Shores? I do indeed. Does anybody else have access to this property? Yeah, give a couple of me mates my keys, you see, because I'm, I'm not always about, and they like to use some of me props and stuff every now and again, and you know what I mean? Okay. Would you be able to name anybody that you know has keys to that property? Uh, well, obviously, obviously, Kozo, he's, he's got keys. Uh, okay. There's uh, Ryan as well. I, I, can't, I can't see Ryan about. I, is, is he? I don't know if he's I busy today or not. He's normally quite busy, to be honest. Uh, but uh, I think that's it, to be honest. They're the only ones I've given keys to anyway. Okay. How frequently do you visit this property? Uh, just a, just a, a weekly basis, really. Uh, I, I don't tend to go up there too much. I, I get the events planned, and so it's, it's mainly just for like uh, just just for chilling. Me and me and my cousin Frank. Uh, we like we like to play a bit of the uh, well, well. I, I call it poker to cause because he, he likes to uh, retain quite a, a cool, calm, calm composure around the boys. You know what I mean? But uh, now we, we we like to play a bit of Dungeons and Dragons. You see, but. Uh, <laughs> Cos won't hold me saying that, but I've, I've got to say everything to the truth here, I eh? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Cos plays as a wizard, you see. So, uh, well, saying that, he, he ain't been to one of the bloody meetings yet. Uh, it's not, uh, not relevant to what we're discussing, Mr. Simmons. Oh, sorry. Have I gone off on one? Sorry. That's yeah. very good to know. Um, Mr. Simmons. Yep. Apologies, my head popped there. Uh, when accessing the property, do your, your friends make contact with you? Uh, ooh, what, what, what do you mean? Do they let me know that they're there, you mean? Yes. Uh, no, not really. I mean, I, tr I trust Cosme with my life, so... Okay. I, I don't want him going in and out when he wants to, and... And, I mean, Roy, he vouches for Ryan quite... I, I've known Ryan quite a long time, you see. But uh, not quite as long as I've known Cosme, but Cos Cosme's always trusted him, and I've always trusted him, so... Uh, yeah, they, they can go in and out if they want. I haven't given Frank keys, though. He's a rock pain in the arse. <laughs> Nick's all my bloody chocolate out of the fridge. Fair enough. Mr. Simmons, you mentioned the props within the property that uh, your friends like to, as you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mess around with. Would you be able to list uh, three of these props for me? 
Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, well, I've uh, I've recently purchased a it's a it's a movie accurate uh, replica of a uh, Andor Hill, which is a um, the sword also known as the Flame of the West. You see that uh, Aragorn used in the Lord of the Rings. Uh, I don't know if you know of the Lord of the Rings. Uh, I bet do got back. A, it's well, do I bought, back. I a, a, it's a also a movie replica lock, but a uh, cost me only cost me about thirty pound on Amazon. He was just a a wizard's hat that uh, I bet do back uh, is dying. The likeness to Gandalf. Waffling a little bit there again. Oh, sorry, I bet do back is crying. Uh, only one more, yeah. Yes. Uh, oof. I bet do back. Fra- Frank's recently bought a set of uh, a set of blades, but uh, we've had, we've had to buy him plastic ones because I don't trust him. Okay. Is do back crying? Mr. Simmons, do you own a weapons license? No. What would I need one of them for? Just asking the question. Oh, right, okay. Mr. Simmons, not owning a firearms license, do you store firearms at your property? No. I don't need firearms. I'm a bloody doctor. Okay. That leads very nicely into my next question. What is your occupation, Mr. Simmons? I am a doctor, Paul. Trained in therapy. I'm trained in uh, surgery. Uh, yeah, I'm quite a well-established doctor at this point. <laughs> nice. Uh, Your Honor, I believe, for now, that is all the questions that I have for Mr. Simmons. Um, thank you. Mr. Yeah, uh, Mr. Ken, would you like to recross? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Go ahead. Hello. Hello, Mr. Simmons. Like your suit, pal. Yeah, well, thank you. I like yours too. It uh, suits you rather well. If you get the pun. <laughs> oh yeah, I do actually. <laughs> so, Mr. Simmons, yeah. your house has been sandy. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lovely place, I tell you. It's a, lo- a lovely view. Is it got a nice, it's a nice little spot? Is it? Yeah, it's quite nice actually. Your friend, my client, Mr. Cosmic King, mm-hmm. has he ever asked you? To store anything at your property? No, he's, he's well. From what I'm aware of, I, I don't think he brings anything. I mean, like I say, we we had Dungeons and Dragons night three times. We had the, the storming of Mordor. We had a uh, Helm's Deep, and we had the recreation of the Rohirrim. But uh, no, we haven't. Uh, he, he didn't turn up to any of them. So, uh, from what I'm aware of, everything that's in there is mine and Frank's. Can you clarify when you say Frank's? Who? Uh... What's Frank's name? Oh, uh, Frank Simmons. Frank Simmons. And does he, he have to your property? No, I don't trust him. I don't trust him with my bloody chocolates, you see. He's forever in them and the biscuit tin. You're all fat bastard. Oh, sorry, Your Honor. He's a, a right fatty. Don't worry, I shall allow it. Sorry, I yeah, also sorry. hate fat bastards. Yeah, he's a... You, you wait till you meet Frank, honestly, pal. He's a right pain in the arse. I mean, uh, sorry, um, he's a right pain. Mr. Simmons, you also made reference to a Ryan. What's Ryan's yes, yeah. name? Uh, oh, bloody hell. Uh, I've known him that long. I've just known him as Ryan, but... Uh, uh, oh, oh, actually, he's got, he's got one of them cool names, and you know, it's um, R.R. Uh, I believe it's something like Ricard, Rick, Rick, Ricardo or something. Ryan? No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, um, some, some along those lines. Richie? And this Ryan had keys to your property. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. On the evenings and the the nights you've described Dungeons mm-hmm. and Dragons that you have testified my client did not attend, did Ryan That's attend right. them? Uh, he was planning to, but uh, he said that he was busy. Uh, normally, last minute, you see, he's a bit of a pain like that. But uh, no, uh, we we got him all the kits, we got him all the, the the gear and that for. He was meant to be our rogue, you see, uh, our rogue archer. But uh, no, never never turned up, pal. When was the last time you saw my client at your property? Oh, I've never, I've never seen him there. Not since, uh, well, not since the day I bought it. I showed him round, showed him where we could build the table and that, showed him where we could have, have a couple of beers afterwards and stuff like that, but no, no, since then, never. No more questions, Your Honour. Thank you, Mr. Wait for Lee Nova now. Mr. Enzo, would you like to recross one more time? Uh, yes, please, Your Honour. You may only address the questions that defense asks. Go ahead. Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, this is a little bit boring. Mr. Simmons, you, uh, you discussed Ryan. Uh, when yeah, was yeah. the last time you saw Ryan? 
Ryan. Oh, the last time was um, just before the night of the uh, the row hearing, you see. We, uh, I, I met him just outside the hospital. He came down and seen me, and he told me that he couldn't turn up, that he was too busy. And uh, I said to him, I said, oh, Ryan, I've bought all the bloody stuff now. And he said that he'd pay me back and that. But uh, no, in the end, it was just me and Frank, you see. And yeah. Would you be able to give me a date? Oh, blimey. Uh, I've never been asked out on a date a in a call room. Oh, we're all okay. Uh, ooh. Blimey. Uh, you're probably talking about uh, ooh, a month ago, a month and a half ago. Okay. What was your relationship with Ryan? Ryan, we were just mates. Look, as I, uh, me and me, me and old Cosa, we, uh, we've been best pals for a long time. I'm, I mean, he he won't admit it because uh, he thinks I'm a bit of a nerd, you see. But uh, no, we've known each other for bloody ages, and he introduced me to Ryan, and uh, I'd say, I'd say he's a good friend. Yeah, we, we, we've never been. He's a, he's a bit more. Uh, he's a bit more of a, a sort of a, a rogue, if you know what I mean. He's a, a bit of a bit of a tyrant. Is Ryan? He's not quite a not quite as business savvy as me and Cosa. So would you say, um, I'll rephrase that. Yep. Um, is your relationship better ah. with Mr. King? Oh, yeah, 100%, yeah. Well, just because I've known him for longer, to be honest. Okay. He, I mean, he, he's the same as Ryan in the fact that he doesn't turn up to any of the bloody events that I've put all this time and effort into. But uh, I was say he just thinks I'm a bit of a nerd, I think. Ah. Okay. Uh, that's everything I have, Your Honor. Thank you. Ah. Lee Novas will be Cheers, good. Pal. Thank you, Reggie. Thank you very much. Oh, well, thank you, much. You may leave now. You thank you for your time. Thank you, Your Honor, and I love your top hat, Paul. You should wake him up. Thank I'm, you. Am I allowed to go? You're allowed to leave, yes. Uh, can, I uh, defense, sat, can, I, can I stay sat down? Or? Defense, is he on your list? Uh, no, Your Honor, he's not. <laughs> okay, you may, you may leave if you would like to, or you may sit in the gallery if you would like. Okay, can I take the, the seat over there on that sofa? It looks very comfy. Uh, of course. Oh, thank you very much. Of you, Cosmo. Mate. No, 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 not over there. Not over there. No, no, not, no, no. Not here, no. no. That's for the pair legal. Oh, no, sorry, no. Paul. Oh, sorry, oh. excuse me, excuse me, miss. In the sorry. gallery. There you go. Okay, oh. Mr. Renzo, do we have any more witnesses? Lean over. Uh, Your Honor, there is no more witnesses from the prosecution. Oh. Are you sure? Oh. Absolutely positive, sir. Oh. Okay, so... Does the prosecution rest now? Okay. Do you not have lean over? Now it's time for the defense. With you, both sides, do you need a break or are you too good to go? For both uh, I sides. Could, I could do with a quick three minute recess, Your Honor. Okay. We're gonna have a, a five minute recess. I do need a piss. Salim, we will be up. back after five minutes. Thank you very much. The gallery, you may now relax and start talking to each other. But oh. any outburst, any violence, oh. you know what will happen. Thank you. Break time's over. Prosecu prosecution has rested. Now... It's on the defense side. Defense, would you call? Would you like to call your first witness? Uh, yes, Your Honor. The defense calls uh, Harris Mint to the stand. Harris Mint is he available in the court? Harris Mint. There he is. Go ahead. The witness is yours. Thank you, Your Honor. Hello, Mr. Mint. Good evening, Ken. Can you explain to the court your role in the LSPD? Uh, at current deputy chief, but at the time of the raid on Mr. Cosney I'm King's properties way, and James. others, I was the one of the lead detectives of Fang, and I was a sergeant in the LSPD. As the lead detective of Fang, can you walk us through the steps you took in this investigation? Uh, yes, I can. I, I was not the lead detective on the case itself, that was Mr. Drag, but I was called into an interview, which is with two people, I and believe you previously I'm seen the it, tape, Jens. which we've then later removed. I'm on it. Which was with one redacted male and the second, which is a crazy Bob. 
From there, we uh, took the warrant to a judge, which Mr. Tony dragged up with. I was not privy to that information. Uh, he took it to a justice. I believe it was Judge Manatooth or Justice Manatooth. What's that chip? From there, we had the warrant. We planned the raid out with the assistance from SWAT. And then we acted on the warrant where we first raided the property in Sandy. Second, Mr. Cosney King's premises on the apartment block just off Carson Avenue, I believe it is. Which is the one which is being called currently the firm block. But I will refer to it as the apartment block. And then from there, we then went to a warehouse. And then in that time, Cosney King was arrested, brought down to MRPD, etc. You know the rest with the jailbreak, etc. Okay. Give me one moment. We had testimony from uh, Officer Jackson that detectives from the FANG unit Turn them fucking handled off. the removal of evidence from my client's property. Were you, was you one of those detectives? Yes, I was in charge of the documentation of evidence in property. Can you oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, there hold on, we go stop, again. Stop, stop, stop. Everybody no. get into a safe place. Okay, we're gonna do it with this siren. Okay, we shall resume now. Hopefully no more gunshots. Mr. Ken, you may resume with the previous question you have asked. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I believe my previous question was, uh, as we had established it via testament from uh, Officer Jackson, the FANG unit were the unit responsible for uh, taking evidence out of uh, my client's property. Uh, my question to Harris Mint here was, uh, was Mr. Mint one of those detectives? Yes. Can you explain to the court uh, what a chain of custody is? A chain of custody? Someone get rid of that car, A man. chain of custody, for, for my understanding of chain of custody, would be documentation of evidence and it being through the process so it's kept logged where it moves, etc., and how it moves. So, for example, using the premises of Cosney King, all of the property was documented. Everything inside the boxes before it was touched was documented. Then the bits which were taken out were then documented into their vehicle, and then they were later documented at the PD station. Okay, so it was it was your responsibility uh, to have chain of custody of the evidence and Why document staff those just fucking items kick them? into uh, no reading. Rebuttal. I'll, I'll rephrase your honour. Okay, then objection. This did continue. Rephrase Who's, the question. Whose responsibility responsibility was it to label all items seized in the warrant raid receipt? Myself. I'd like to bring the uh, attention of the court uh, to evidence uh, submitted by the prosecution for... Uh, Why don't they just boot him? Like, seriously. Out, uh, the amount of shit I got flag. for this fucking scene Mr. of Mint, what I have to do. Are you in possession of that? Can you can you read out the item seized to the court? Uh, yes, I could. He's got him. Can you please read the item seized? Where, where do I find exactly this uh, document and the evidence? It should be only a, a copy of the the warrants, uh, your your honour. The red warrant. What are you done to your ankle? Yes. On the red I'll... warrant, if, if you if you. If it's helpful, down. should I put it in? Should I put it in the docket for the one you listed, the one that's the the perfect yes. copy? No, 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 I'm reading it. It's it's uh, the the doc, right? This is going to be good. He's going to get I'm, me off I'm, the hot charge. I found it. Go ahead. You may start reading it. Or am I just listing the items found and seized? Items found and seized uh, under subject one, Cosmic King at forty eighty five. Kenny's got something. One thousand four hundred and sixty nine three point five grams of Kush bags, fifty four oxy, two thousand seven hundred and sixteen empty baggy, one thousand three hundred and twenty nug of Kush, one female Kush sheet, one hundred and eight pistol bullet, one M M nineteen eleven, two combat pistol. Would you like all of the stuff below that as well? Uh, no, just just the just the 
top line of the weapons is fine. Uh, that is complete. So that, what was the last two items? Uh, one 90, M1911 and two combat pistol. So, uh, you, you've read that out there. One of the charges my client is facing, Your Honour, is a money laundering charge. There is no mention of any cash seized from my client's property, according to that w document. W Ken. W Ken. Therefore, if cash was not seized, why is he on a hat charge? Where is may the evidence for that charge? May I respond to that one, John? Yes, anything he's asking you, you may answer but if you there have was, the power to answer it. There was the washing machines inside of the premises. Which cash was found inside of. It is documented down at the very bottom. So, what I'm looking at there is is picture of cash in a washing machine... If you seized that, I would have expected uh, it have all to have been counted up, a total, and all of that cash and its uh, information of the cash added to the the list that you have just read out. Is that not standard procedure? Uh, you're, you are correct. Um, there was an oversight in the listing there. Uh, the reason for that is there was security mechanisms on the washing machines, which meant we weren't able to immediately get into those to do it. When the property was in LSPD custody, we couldn't get into them because the machines were locked and there was no way to turn them off. Have you since been back to, to seize that? Um, I believe they were, I'm unsure if they were left in situ or not. I'm unsure. But it was the, there was the, when the machines were taken photo of, they were taken photo of in the idea that they were for the, the, I, uh, sorry, I'm struggling to speak. Objection narrative. Uh, what are you thinking, the, Rose? The, the witness is already in the middle of his answer. Next time, when you object, do it before the witness answers. Thank you. Continue. Objection sorry. overruled. May you ask the question again? You were literally so, in the middle of your answer. Yeah, I, so I, 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 I got stuck with myself. I'm just, I'm trying to re go my. It's I'm, okay. I'm getting, ask I'm getting stuck the on the question. question so if I could get the ask, question again, ask please. Ask the question again. <laughs> so obviously, this, you've ascertained there that the washing machines were, shall we call it, locked yeah. for a, a set period of time, right? Uh -huh. Has as an LSPD, as I assume you, you have taken, you have seized the property, correct? Yes. Have I believe, I believe the, the, the term we, we use is the property was locked down whilst the investigation was ongoing. Right. I would I would say that is seized, is it not? I believe, I, I guess you, for, for LSPD, we call it, we call it in, it is, the property is locked down. I guess you could call it seized. Um, Ken? Uh, one moment, Your Honour. Okay, Mr. Ken. Um, if they claim to have it locked down, people still have access to it, and they're stood right behind me. They can vouch they've been in and out. Yeah, it's fine, Jeff. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Sorry about that, Your Honour. That's okay. So, if we're, if we're giving it labelling the property as, as locked down, does that mean that any member of the LSPD can go back to that property and enter that property to go back and seize that cash? As far as I understand, yes. Has that happened? Uh, I believe Tony Drag looked after that. So, I'll, I'll, I'll ask my next question. Do you have that cash seized and in evidence at MRPD? I wouldn't be able to answer as Tony Drag looked after that. I, I beg your pardon. You, you've you've attested that you're head of the Fang unit, and oh. in Mr. Drag's absence, the only person ever for responsible for securing oh, all God. evidence is a member of that Fang unit, and as leader of that, surely that would fall for yourself. Ken, 
Penny is cooking. As, as far as I understand, it was seized, yes. But yeah. I wouldn't be able to tell you where, where which locker it is in, etc. But as far as I understand, it has been seized. Your Honour, with all the, the answers provided from uh, Mr. Mint as, re as regards to the cash that, in quotes, believed to be seed, yes or no, I would highly and strongly uh, argue that the chain of custody for that specific piece of evidence uh, cannot be guaranteed. Therefore, we cannot rule out that it has or hasn't been tampered with in any way, shape or form. And I, I, I move to strike it basically from the record. Prosecution rebuttal on the strike. Go on, Kenny. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, Do you need time? Yes, please. If I could have 60 seconds to two minutes. Okay. okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Jared. Come here. Jared. A long two minutes, Your Honor. Um, justice. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm Understood, Mr. Yeah, Ken. Go. I actually realized that myself. Mr. Renzo! Yep, all done, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, the prosecution would like to um, oh, defer to Mr. Kenny Kenny's judgment yeah, on the money laundering. There, there is no quantified amount, so we'll we'll take a knee on that charge, Your Honor. Yeah. Understood, Please. Mr. Kenny. They will be dropping that charge. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah. Absolutely. Hot charge that was. <sighs> Is there any more questions you would like to yes. ask your witness? Yes, there is, Mr. You uh, fucking Lord. destroy you him. may continue whenever you are ready. Heart charge for nothing. Mr. Mint. As part of the investigation, was my client, Cosney King, interviewed at any stage by members of the LSPD? Come on. Apologies. Uh, I did not. I did not personally. To the best of your knowledge, did any other officers? I haven't seen a statement to say he was. How long have you been a, a police officer? Uh, I've been a career cop for 25 years. This was worth the wait. This was worth the and wait. In that 25 years of experience. Is it standard procedure to arrest a subject and then not interview them and bring forward evidence you have against them? Um, I believe from my experience previously in a prior state, if someone had a hot charge and there wasn't to be interviewed, it was to go straight to trial from there. Okay, Mr. Mint. I think I've got one, one more question. Let me just give me one second just to collect my notes here. As part of the investigation, were there any other potential suspects considered during the investigation? Yes. Who were they? Uh, there are two other people on the, the warrant who are wanted. So that would be a Mr... Reggie Simmons and Mr. Lee Nova. Correct. Lee, objection leading. Reggie. I'll rephrase. Reggie. Can you name the other two individuals on the warrant? Uh, it would be Reggie Simmons and Lee Nova. Lee Nova was already brought into custody and, and he was released uh, with investigation pending. And what about Reggie Simmons? I, we hadn't seen him. Part of the uh, lead detective for Fang. Whose responsibility was it to articulate the charges brought against my client? That had been Tony Drag. He wrote the warrant. And follow it, and for obviously the, the, the court record show that uh, Tony Drag isn't in the court to, to answer, nor do I believe he's no longer a serving member of the uh, the police department. So, Mr. Mint, in his absence. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No longer a serving member of the police department. Uh, yeah, there was. Would you, are you happy to answer and give you some context there, Judge? 
Go ahead. There was a completely un there was a completely separate instant not pertaining in any way whatsoever to this case. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, was he retired or was he fired? Uh, he was suspended, and then the the state then uh, asked for his removal from the LSPD. W Abdul, W Abdul. Thank you. Shout that fucking man out. Okay, noted, Mr. Kenny. Thank you. Your Very honor. well noted. Very well noted. So, following the suspension of a, a police officer, is it standard operating procedure for another officer to take up any active cases? that that officer was handling yes but in the in the dismissal of him there was no time in order to do that i hope you can understand i i i, I can appreciate that it's uh obviously a little it, bit it, was, on, it, it was very to get, it, yeah it was certain it, answers without uh, obviously mr drag yeah here, and it I, was I it was very fast that. it was very fast paced as well the suspension to not being around anymore okay so so if you if you may obviously i'll uh, Kind of I'll try to answer away. the best I can to any questions yes, regarding. Okay, and and, and see so what I'll try and move away from uh, bringing Mr. Drag into this. Hundred percent, Bernie. The charges that have been brought against my client, specifically the manufacturing of illegal firearms. What evidence has the investigation uncovered? That would quantify probable cause for that charge. I believe the blueprints were found in a property that was not Cosney King's, but believed to be associated with him. So, for the record, they were found in a in a property that is not registered to my client. Go on, Ken. Uh, that would be correct. <laughs> but the evidence we had. To lead us to the warrant we believe that that property was associated with cosney king and what evidence is that the property that is under subject to reggie simmons there was some there was a heavy pistol blueprint found a pump shotgun blueprint found i'm uh, mr mint I'm, I'm i'm not i'm not uh arguing what was found at the property I'm arguing the connection between that what was found at a property not owned by my client and how you are articulating it to be a charge against my client. So the there was the the interview which was initially read. Re, uh, there was an interview that took place which gave us the PC for the warrant, uh, which is where we found which is where we believe the association is with. Right, but uh, beg your pardon if you found. Uh, illegal contraband or whatever it is found there at a property owned by a, an individual not my client surely it should be the owner of, of the property that would be facing uh, to answer for that evidence and answer for that charge not my client i would tend to disagree because you have act the we we had the intelligence and the evidence that led us to believe that Cosney king had access to that property where those items were Again, okay, having access to a property and own ownership over the property and its contents are two different things. I, I would tend to agree, but we believe that Cosney King had placed the items there, so, so or, or, a mem or a member yeah. of his a member of his organization would have placed okay. it there. Okay, so a member of his organization, but not my client. No, oh, well, yeah, Cosney King God. is a member of the organization. No, it's going very well for me, Harry, and I don't know how. I have no idea how. He's, when you say a member of the organization, can you clarify what you mean by the organization? The firm. A group of individuals who go around wearing the same outfit as each other and usually seen together conducting business together, usually found on the Carson Avenue apartment block. All right, but having a, having a group of friends and linking that back to probable cause for a charge or property found in a property not owned by my client is a bit of a stretch. It could be, but that's also what we're here today to argue. Okay, I'll move on to the I'll move on to the next the next charge. Possession of illegal firearm modifications. 
Can you articulate the evidence supporting the probable cause for that charge? Repeat that question. Possession of which uh, which charge? Uh, illegal firearm modification, Your Honor. Okay. Ken is if you don't mind, I'm just me. looking at the warrant, the raid receipt, just to just to check this information. Take, take if you don't time, mind, Mr. Mid, take your time, thank you very Mr. much. Mid, that's that's not that's not a problem. In the in the warrant you were sent, in the receipt of the item seized, there is two things in the harbor apartment, which is the extended clip blueprint. Sorry, just the sort the one. There's two items. There's two extended clip blueprints. Okay, so two extended clip blueprints, right? And you're using mm -hmm. that as as uh, evidence for probable cause for that charge. The charge was, was that mod was that modification or manufacture? Sorry, just to correct, check myself. Possession of illegal firearm modifications. Yes, so the Harbor Apartment extended clip blueprint times two. Okay, so Your Honor, if I may, in the penal Go code, the, the the charge for possession of illegal firearm modifications, the stipulation for that charge is being in possession of firearm modifications unlawfully. So the charge is stipulating. How is that? No problem. Uh, they held me on a hut charge on money laundering. They've thrown the charge out. I shouldn't have been held until trial. They've thrown the charge out. So yeah, big compensation, mate. No. They threw the charge out, which is what the hut charge was for. Is it still a turf? Can you only communicate immediate threat, please? No. Who's that? Gonna be some mega compensation. Ah, oh, it's quarter to 11. I'm not even gonna be able to get a beer. We need to celebrate. Oh. Okay. Now start with your argument again. Okay, Your Honor. Thank you. So, as Mr. Mint has uh, testified there, the PC for the or the evidence for quantifying PC for that charge was the discovery of two extended magazine blueprints. The wording on the charge for possession of legal firearm modification stipulates that being in possession now we of get nothing here. Firearm we don't get to the unlawfully. It, it stipulates the possession of the actual modification. It does not stipulate possession of a piece of paper or schematic or blueprint on how to make one. The charge merely stipulates the actual possession Shop of the actual in 15 item, minutes. which was not found at my client's property. Very well noted. Thank you, Your Honor. And uh, bringing me on to uh, kind of nicely onto the, the, the next charge being a, a cr criminal possession of explosives in the same vein. Wearing your suit. What too. evidence is supporting the probable cause for that charge? Appreciate that. Bear with me a second. Yeah, you can buy it. Yeah. It would be the blueprint found. The, which blue can you clarify which blueprint the 11 fermite blueprints okay and also the two molotov blueprints so again your honor i'd like to direct you to the criminal possession of explosive uh, penal code it's a court Good. case Fine jade and your sausage Continue. That clearly states on the penal code. Criminal possession of 
of explosives is to be in possession of an explosive. 11 pieces of blue paper are not explosives. Noted, Mr. Kelly. Noted. Thank you, Your Honor. I'll just check one, uh, just checking my notes here. You want to give me one second? Fair play, James, mate. Big up, James, in the chat, everyone. Big up, Reggie. I have just one final uh, question for you, um, Mr. Mint. During the investigation, can you can you confirm whether any witnesses have come forward and provided statements that contradict your conclusions around the charges you've brought against my client? There was a interview yesterday that was submitted with the evidence today regarding the regarding Lee Nova saying that the marijuana inside of the house of Cosney King was stored by himself there. Thank you, Mr. Vint. Yes, Your Honor, I'd like to bring to your attention the uh, recording of the interview uh, with the LSPD and Mr. Lee Nova. Has been struck down. I have no more questions for uh, Deputy Chief uh, Minch, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, may I speak? Of course you may. I'm sorry to... Uh, to uh, this The uh, evidence proposed, uh, the interview with Lee Nova, uh, Your Honor, was not the evidence that was struck down. It was the interview with, I believe it was Ryan and Crazy Bob that was struck down and removed. There, there, that's correct, yes, Your Honor. Understood. Thank you for correcting you, me, Honor. Mr. Enzo. Uh, is uh, Miss Lee Nova here? Yes, Your Honor. Ah, Mr. Leonova, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, continue. Uh, now, the, def uh, the prosecution, would you like to recross the witness? Uh, yes, please, Your Honor. Of Fuck course, you, go Jeff. ahead. Your Honor, would it be okay if I just have 60 seconds, two minutes just to grab a drink? Go for it, no thank problem. You. Thank you, thank you for your time. I think we, uh, we're ready, Your Honor. Thank you. You may continue. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mint, hello. Good evening. So you, you stated in, uh, in your conversation with, with Mr. Kenny over there, um, you have an itemized list of what was found at the property. Could you, for my, uh, for my benefit, please um, just explain the layout of the property for me, please? Yes. So you go up the stairs, about a six, six steps of stairs. You go up, then you're greeted by what is a traditionally a kitchen. And on the left, a kind of empty space with a kind of counter dividing it in between. Okay. Uh, let's dial back to the steps. Upon immediate entry, what is directly in front of you? Uh, immediately in front of me, as soon as I get up the top of the steps, there was a kitchen which, was, which had a lot of large boxes on top of it, like large crate style. In the large boxes in the kitchen, what did you find? Um, multiple different things. I'd have to go through the, the actual itemization to look what was in each box, but it was a multitude of items subject to the raid receipt on there. If possible, could you please provide me specifics? Um, I'd need to look at my notes if that's possible. Objection. Asked and answered. Repeat, repeat the question again. Uh, so the question was, would you be able to tell me what exactly was in the boxes directly in front of the door in the kitchen? What did I miss? You're winding me out, you're winding me out, you're winding me out. Sustain. <laughs> Find another question. He already, he already mentioned it. He already mentioned it before. Uh, Mr. Mint, are you aware of the definition of possession? Yes. Could you please recite to me what the definition of possession Let's is? Let's pretend Kenny fucked it, Char Char. Someone time her out. Uh, the... the... <sighs> The definition to me for possession would be it's something that you own and you are carrying at a particular time. Could you please give me the penal code definition? Uh, yep, the that shots, would yeah. Guilty.
Fuck the shop, I don't care. A bit early for prom. You need more time, Mr. Renzo? I think no, it's, I'm just I'm trying to recall it on the penal code. Bear with oh, me. Oh, okay, okay. Where would I find this on the penal code? Apologies. Uh, you're going to be looking for um, my apologies for not being specific. Possession of marijuana with intent to distribute. To be specific. Uh, the possession of quantity of marijuana for distribution, previous felony amounts, accompanied by high power weapon, large quantity of cash, and paraphernalia substantial to this charge. Okay. Could you please provide me with the definition of felony possession of marijuana? Uh, the possession of quantity of marijuana, either in raw form or prepared for consumption, in the weight of 28 grams, open brackets, more than 10 bags, close bracket. So, Your Honor, referring back to the evidence, uh, Mr. Mint has that. testified that there was over a thousand... Okay. 3.5 millimeter grams of marijuana present in the property, as well as a multitude of firearms, which Mr. King has Hello, pled Jim. guilty to possession of. Um, it is my my recommendation that given given the definition of possession with intent to to, to distribute, um, that this charge should stick, uh, as it is over the felony amount. It was accompanied by baggies as well as the the firearms present which uh which gives the the probable cause for this charge took him and it was at Cosney king's property sorry i had to clear my throat my, my throat uh you're on our right jets it was mine <laughs> mr nova sit down <laughs> okay mr nova you do one more of those and you will be hitting the bars very soon do you understand sorry your honor I object. It was Continue, mine. Mr. Renzo. Yes. So, from my understanding, Your Honor, uh, possession does extend to that of property. Um, there is also uh, uh, they're cooking now. Sorry, not legislation. There is also a, a common belief of dominion. Um, and given out. the fact that the property was owned by Mr. King, as as we have heard from uh, Mr. Powers himself in regards to the uh, the blueprints found in Mr. Simmons's property. Um, Possession of items in the property would be pertinent to the owner of the property. Therefore, with the property being Mr. King's, I do believe that he is liable for the paraphernalia, the firearms, which he has admitted guilty to, and the marijuana present at the property in a felony amount uh, with intent to distribute. Now, Mr. Kenny, your rebuttal. To the defense, we're not going to... Uh, I'm not... Arguing the, uh, the marijuana being on the property of my clients. That's his plan today. Not not arguing that. And as reference to how I articulated possession with the, the Sandy property of Mr. Reggie Simmons, the, the difference quite clearly here is, which will bring me on to my next witness, is we have an individual who will attest under oath that all that marijuana is his. And he has also made a statement to that exact effect prior to this trial. He walked into a police station, handed himself in, gave the information. I refer the court to the, the interview with uh, Lee Nova uh, from uh, yesterday, I believe it was. Therefore, the difference between the possession of, of that, those items are different in the way that my client lays no claim to having any property at Mr. Reggie Simmons' address, but Mr. Lee Nova lays all claim to the marijuana uh, found at my client's address. Very well noted. Continue with the questioning, Mr. Renzo. Of course. Uh, Mr. Mint. When the evidence was documented, uh, stand by, just referring to my notes, sorry. 
Fuck knows how I'm cutting this down. I don't know, Harry. I don't think you need to. Uh, there's a few pauses. Shall I? Shall I? Shall I chuck the vod up, Harry, or not? I disregard my last. Nah, I might as that well. Was, uh, that was the only question I had pertinent to that charge. Thank you. No problem. Would you like to recross, uh, Mr. Kenny? Uh, only on the questions that have been asked. No, Your Honor. Okay. Nice one, Harry. Mr. Mate. Mint, thank you very much for your time. You may leave the building if you wish so. If you do not want to, you may stay as well. Thank you, George. No problem. Mr. Kenny, do you have any further witnesses? Uh, yes, the defense would like to call Mr. Leanova to the stand. Mr. Leanova. This will be funny. Okay, I'll choose. Good evening, Your Honor. This will be funny. Good evening. Mr. Kenny, here's your witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Nova. Good evening. How do you know my client, Mr. King? Oh, so it goes back a few, few years. So I uh, brought me warehouse that the police obviously know about it, telling us. And it came in a bit of a mess. So when it was mess, uh, put out on uh, advertisements, only recycling centres about Mr. King got in touch as he is a recycling company. Him and a few of his boys will come and help me out. So from then, he said, let me get back in touch. Thought I'd have a look around, see if I can get some quotes. No prices match. Got back into Mr. Uh, sorry, got back into contact with Mr. King. Uh, said it is his job if he can do it. And since then, he cleared me where I said, we've become business associates, would you say, sort of. I give him some work now and again if I need to. Within me warehouse to get rid of rubbish because it, it does stack up and you know. I see. You mentioned you you own a, a warehouse. Yeah, I've got a warehouse uh, just on the edge of this. It's, oh, sorry, go ahead. What did you do in that warehouse? Ugh, that warehouse. Uh, when I first brought it, I got me sold a dream. I thought it was a Christmas tree farm till I started cutting them down. Turns out it was actually cannabis. Since then, I've been a mess. I've grown it, smoked it. Can't keep control of it. He needs to smoke a joint when they ask him. So you're openly admitting in court to cultivation of marijuana at that address. Oh, yeah, I told the police this yesterday, to be honest. I can't let someone suffer for my uh, wrongdoings, can I? Did you ever ask any favours of my client? Uh... <laughs> I did ask one favour, I says, because I've got to know you a little bit, is there any chance I can store some stuff in your property? I, I couldn't store any more boxes in my warehouse. He had too many. If I put too many boxes in there, I wouldn't be able to grow as much. So he says, yeah, fine. To be honest, I didn't tell him what it was. And if I did, I don't think he would have let me. But I, I stored my raw in there. Again, to clarify, you're openly admitting that you stored marijuana at my client's address. Yeah, I've got, I've, got, I've got an issue. It's such a big smoking issue. How much marijuana did you store there? Uh, it was thousand, over a thousand, probably pushing two. Uh, some bagged, some not. It all started when I went to a P. Diffie party. It went wrong. <laughs> I didn't know Mr. Dizzy. A P. Diffy party. Have you? Uh, one second, I'll just uh, just pull up my last my last question for you. Bear with me, Mister Nervet. To confirm, Mister Nervet, do you still hold the keys to my client's property? I do. Yes. No, he didn't say Attack that. Attack going to want him back. No more questions, Your Honour. <clears throat> no, he didn't say that. Thank you, Mr. Kenny. Mr. Enzo, would you like to recross this witness? Uh, yes, please, Your Honour. Could I just have 60 seconds? Yes, you will. I promise I will be quick this time. Okay. The business associate. The business associate they might be able to push on, but he. I think he saved his ass. Boo, thank you. The business associate they could push on, but I think he saved it.
they weren't ready. They had more than enough time for this. I was going to fuck with them even worse than this. I had, I had really big plans. I had big plans to fuck with them even more, and we didn't even do it because of how, like, how messy it was getting. I was going to fuck with them even way, way more. Way more. Okay, I'm ready, Your Honor. Here's uh, your witness. Yes, uh, before Hello, I question the witness, Harry. Your Honor, I would just like to uh, address the courtroom um, and make mention of the statement that Mr. Lee Nova here made um, about utilizing Mr. King's property and stating that um, if Mr. King uh, was aware of what Mr. Nova was putting in the property, then Mr. King would not have allowed this to have happened. I would like to direct sure, the court to the fact that Mr. King has, pro has pled guilty to possession of firearms and also the oxy with intent to distribute. So, um, I find it strange He's that cooking. he would also not be aware of marijuana in, uh, in said storage facilities He's within cooking. his property. Okay, thank you very much for that speech. <laughs> Are you ready to ask a witness question? I am indeed, thank you, Your Honor. Go ahead. Hello, Mr. Nova. Evening. Uh, the gentleman to your back left, do you recognize him? I'm partially blind. I'm partially blind. How long have you known Mr. King? Uh, I stated recently a couple of years. Okay. My apologies. I might have misheard. Um, what is your relationship with Mr. King? I'd say more business association. So, like I said previously to his uh, defense, uh, we met. Uh, when I asked him about a recycling company, you did, yes. When he contacted, yeah, that's that's yes, my apologies. You did indeed state that. Um, so I'm just directing to the the warehouse statement that you made, yeah, my home, uh, yeah. And obviously, you were talking about Christmas trees and yep. storing the the harvest of those Christmas trees, I believe you stated within Mr. King's property. Is it what you trying was what you said? Yep, okay. Are you aware of? What a Christmas tree looks like. If I were to hold up a picture of one here for you. To be honest, mate, I'm severely sighted, so probably not. it get mixed up. Okay. Fair enough. Understandable. It's when I got closer, it, it was the smell. That, uh... The smell. Yeah. IRL, he's actually blind. Okay. And are you aware of the conditions required to grow marijuana? But to be honest, like I say, I've got that hooked on it. I, I, I can't let a man go down for my, what I've done. I, I, I've grown all this marijuana. I smoked the marijuana, and I said to your officers, you can even do me on a bit of a deal in charge. I sell it to some of my mates. Understandable. Given your business relationship with Mr. King, uh, why did you not feel it beneficial to mention to him what the contents of the storage facilities were? Because I'm a bit, to be honest, I'm a bit of a loner around here, mate. So if I start mentioning anything like that, I would, what am I going to do with it? I can't store it in my warehouse. If I told him... Is is the only person that's ever spoke to me, really? So would you say that you lied to Mr. King? Uh, I didn't lie because I didn't tell him. Okay. I, I just asked to saw some stuff, and he said, "Yeah." Understandable. I can't see that lying, can you? Would you say that you were not? Uh, let me think of the way to word this correctly. Um, was your intent not positive? In, in not letting him know? Uh, my intent, to be honest, sir, was just somewhere to store it till I could smoke it. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, I'd just like to draw attention to the fact that uh, Mr. Nova has admitted to not telling Mr. King the contents of the storage. Uh, and as a result, I would actually bring into question the, the legitimacy of, of his statement. Uh, that is all the questions that I have for him for now. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank uh, you. I mean, he's pushing his luck there at the end. He was doing well. I mean, he's Would push... you like to recross the recrossing? No, Your Honor. I think he was pushing his luck a oh, bit there. Thank you, Mr. Kenny. Can you go uh, on? We've got a drink. Thank you, Mr. Lee Nova. You may go back to your seat or leave the courthouse as thank you like. Thank you, Your Honor. There you go, Jim. Nice ice cream for you. Could I you prefer please? it if you leave. Thank you. But of course you can stay, yes, of course. Basically, what's he say? He's going to arrest me as soon as I get out of there, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Do you have another witness? Uh, no more witnesses to call, Your Honor. No more witnesses to call. 
Um, how much time do both parties here need for the closing arguments preparation? From my Mr. side, you want Yes, yes, Mr. Kenny. How much time do you need? Two minutes. Two minutes, Mr. Renzo. Yeah, around about the same time is is fine. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, then we're gonna have a five minute recess. Fuck, it makes me jump every time. We'll be back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, mate. Reggie would like to say something to you. Okay. Are you joking? Well, why are we staying here? Yes, mate. You're out. Yeah, what's going on? They're taking me away, mate. I don't know what for. But I just wanted to say all the best. I hope it all goes well. Hopefully, we can we can go up to Deloitte and have a drink after all this shit. All I'm going to tell you is you're going to find out why, Reggie. But Ryan done this to you, and he done this to me. Why would he why would he do this to me? I said, fellas, come on now. Because he's a horrible, horrible man, Reggie. I mean, yeah, but it might. I've only ever been. I've only ever been Reggie, nice to the Reggie, I'm going to grab by the arm. Ryan oh. done this to you, Reg. It was Ryan. Is it this one? It was Ryan, Reggie, mate. No, it's not that one. Fuck. Oh, Never mind. No, it's not. It's a battle or something. Recess is over. Did you see, Did you see how all the gangs just oh, left then? And they were like, right, phone, phone calls. Hey, do Mr. Dono. Hey, do brother. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Sorry, my apologies. Okay, remember, you can take the podium. You can speak from the podium for your closing argument. Yeah. What are the odds of that, gentlemen? Are we ready to proceed, Your Honor? My apologies. We're waiting for you. Prosecution goes first. Roger. Is this the verdict? It is, yes. It's been good, Danny. It's been good, Danny. We're, we're doing well. We're doing well. You would have enjoyed it, mate. Paddy's right. here. Um... Thank you very much, everyone, for hearing what we had to say. Uh, the prosecution just wants to, you know, paint paint a picture here and just remind everybody just a few key, few key pieces in regards to this case today and the, the lead up to it. The first thing that I'd like to paint a picture of here is the simple fact of, regardless of the onus of the the evidence found, I would like Can to refer specifically to the, Johnny, the marijuana and the uh, the paraphernalia and the firearms which have been pled guilty to. The onus is on the property owner to ensure that nothing illegitimate or untoward is going on in their property, especially a property that they, they frequent. Now, I would like to remind everybody, possession is nine-tenths of the law. If, you know, the, the weed belongs to Mr. Nova, as stated in his statement, it is still in Mr. King's property. It is Mr. King's responsibility to ensure that what comes in and out of his property is is correctly documented or he's aware of or you know he knows what is going on there um that there alone given the quantity the amount of paraphernalia the accompaniment of firearms which again have been pled guilty to should dictate that there was clear possession in Cosney King's possession this marijuana. Furthermore to this, I'd like to paint another picture, Mr. King's repeated attempts, again, which have been pled guilty to, to I don't think I can say anything now. alleviate himself of police custody. The first situation I'd like to refer to is, is MRPD. Again, these have all been pled guilty to, taking an officer hostage to get himself out of custody, then being apprehended and sent to Bolingbroke Prison, and then in Bolingbroke Prison, officer hostages at Weapon Point. And then, furthermore, attempts following this situation. Now, I don't believe that somebody who repeatedly tries to escape custody is somebody who is a innocent, community-supportive man who gives, you know, an ounce of consideration to the surroundings, to his community, to the general public. This does not paint a picture of a good man in my uh, experience and with the evidence that we've been presented here today, the charges that have been put forward. That's all that I have. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Mr. Renzo. Welcome him. How, how you doing? How you doing? Are you ready for the tickets? How are we doing? Oh, Thank you for the raid. You. Welcome okay. in. Welcome in. Go ahead. Fuck, Good day, Danny. Yeah, thank you, Your Honor. So, oh, big up for the following today we in. stand here not Appreciate just it, to thank defend you. my client, Cosny King, but to affirm the principles of justice and fairness. As you know, the prosecution has already recognized the weaknesses in their case, leading them to drop the significant charge of money laundering again, Mr. King. This action speaks volumes about the lack of evidence and the inherent doubts that surround these allegations. Throughout this trial, we have demonstrated that the facts do not support the prosecution's narrative. The testimonies you've heard, the evidence presented, and the reasonable doubts raised all lead to one inevitable conclusion that Cosney King should be found not guilty. I ask you to consider not just the evidence, but the principle that a person is presumed innocent until proven guilty. In light of the prosecution's concessions and the lack of substantial evidence against Mr. King, I urge you to deliver a verdict that upholds justice and integrity. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Kinney. I'll be going back to my office to review uh, and elaborate and come up with a verdict for everyone. Usually, in this kind of case, it will take hours. So sometimes we have to reschedule it to the next day for the hearing. But I believe this one is going to be cut and clean. So we're going to take... Hmm. A 10-minute recess. Right, mods, a mo only, please. Anna shall speak back with the verdict. Oh, oh, it's back. Fucking oh. hell. Yeah. I can fucking <sighs> Keep a mic only on, please, guys, until he says. Thank you for your patience, everyone. <laughs> Especially the defenders. Yeah. I, Judge Ali Habibi, after hearing all the testimonies and reviewing the evidence that have been argued, remember that the, the evidence that have been argued in this court. Mr. Kosny, would you please stand up? Kosny King, up to the podium. Mr. King. Yes, Your Honor. The prosecution dropped the two charges of money laundering and also the second charges felony cultivation of a marijuana farm. You have pled not guilty to these charges and you will not be charged with them at all. Now, there is another four charges that you pled not guilty to, which is the criminal uh, criminal possession of explosives, possession of modifications of weapons, times two, to me, these two charges The prosecution did not bring up enough evidence. Is there a but? To make it seem like beyond a probable cause and beyond any threshold of doubt that these charges should stick. And I find you not guilty on both charges. 
Two more, two more, two more. Now there is two more charges. There is manufacturer of firearms. And there is also possession of marijuana with the intent to sell. I find you not guilty on the manufacturer of firearms. Yep. I'm gonna get the last one he's gonna do me for any. As I can read for you all, I can read for you all what is this charge exactly. And it is not the correct charge to be used here. There was no bench found. There was no weapon parts found. In the property. And that's why you would be found not guilty on this charge. And finally, we have one more charge, which is possession of marijuana with the intent to sell. I think he's going to get me on this one. The prosecution brought in the argument of you being the owner of the house. You allowed access to Mr. Lee Nova. Once you allow him access and giving him keys, you are responsible of whatever Mr. Lee Nova brings in inside the house. It's basically the same law as having a car, for example. If later on somebody finds, if, if a police officer finds a bunch of marijuana inside your car, who does the car belong to? To you! <laughs> it's your property. And you're giving him access. Anything found inside the property, you take responsibility to. As I did not see any rental contract between you and Mr. Lee Nova. If he had a rental contract to be renting your place, that would make it a different thing. But he did not have any rental contract. So I do find you guilty for the position of marijuana with the intent to sell. Now, there is many other charges that you were said guilty to, such as felony obstruction of justice, jailbreak, resisting arrest, assaulting a public servant, peace officer, kidnapping of a public servant or a peace officer, possession of a government-issued weapon. Also, there is many other charges that you already pled guilty to. And I'm sure the officers here will give you the correct fine for it. How long have you been in custody, Mr. King? Uh, Your Honor, it's been so long. Um, I can tell you, as a matter of fact, it's been a minimum of 3,600 months. Tell me tell me in years. You don't have to say in months. Tell me in years. <laughs> well, the years don't make sense, but 330 years. Okay. Let me see. Is it 330? Uh, Your Honor, if I may. Yes. Mr. Uh, Mr. King, Mr. King has been in in uh, custody in Bolingbroke Prison for nine years. Nine years. Thank yes, Your you. Honor. Thank you. No, oh, I haven't. Let me see here. No, I haven't. I've done nine years. Fucking <laughs> done that before I woke up. How long did I do? Do they count? Do they count the days as years? Do they? Right. Where have you gone? <laughs> Reggie's in the cells. 
Uh, I think you could turn them out only chat off now, guys. Yeah, 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 James, yeah, yeah. 330 years, we worked out in, in minutes to months. Nine, nine years makes it sound a lot more normal. Yeah. He's cooking. It is, yeah, it is. Yeah, it makes more sense. It makes more sense. Because I can't really say I've been in there for 330 years, so it makes sense. You will get anything back that you weren't feel, found guilty for, i.e. the money laundering side okay. of things. They don't even know I'll where it is, mate. Here. Mr. King! Yes, Your Honor. Do you realize that you were held until trial? Yes, Your Honor. And the charge that held you until trial was which charge, Mr. King? Do you know? Uh, money laundering, Your Honor. Mr. King, do you realize the police dropped money laundering at the beginning of the case? Yes, Your Honor. Very well. You know why is this delay, Mr. King? No, Your Honor. Because basically, you were held until trial for nine years. Yes, nine sir. whole years. I I understand, for Your a Honor. Charge, for a charge that was dropped at the beginning of the trial. How does that make you feel, Mr. King? Um, I, I don't... Your Honor, I think the best way to put... I, I can't put into words how that makes me feel. Um, that's okay, the Mr. King. It's the first time Let I've been to prison. Let me tell you something. For all the charges you've already pled guilty to, and the charge that I found you guilty of, which is possession of marijuana with intent to distribute, you have already served your sentence. Thank you. You're a free man, but before that, there is the fines. All these charges that you were guilty of has a fine, and I believe the police have not fined you yet, correct? No. Mr. King, as a form of compensation, I'll be waiving all these fines on you. Ah, oh, they've got out of it. They might get out of the suit. You will now. not be fined a dime. I've been given compensation already. Compensation's done. And that is my ruling. Thank you, Your Honor. Prosecution, please see to him that he does not get any fines on him for all the charges that he will be marked up. Yes, but we'll do. You may still add the charges to his record. Yes, we'll do, Your Honor. We'll get that straight away. And time, sir. All yes, of sir. them. They find me in jail you. for a separate offense. Court has been adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor.